At my paternal grandparents' house in Maine, on the back of every door, my grandmother posted a typed page of house rules. With 17 grandchildren and eight great-grandchildren running around, my Ganny, First Lady Barbara Bush, wanted to make clear what she expected of us. These rules were simple, practical guidelines for keeping the house running smoothly. But they also taught us respect. My grandfather, President George H.W. Bush, whom I called Gampy, had a list of guidelines for us too. They were words of advice for living a life of passion and meaning. Their humility and kindness as familiar as the loop in the cursive of his handwriting. Love you, Gampy, you did it! Don't get down when your life takes a bad turn. Don't blame others for your setbacks. When things go well, always give credit to others. How many jumps have we made? This will be our third jump, sir. Could you love a man anymore? No. <laughs> no. He is an awesome man. My maternal grandparents don't have airports or schools named after them. Jenna and Harold Welch, whom I called Grammy and Pa, worked as a housewife and a home builder. They never posted rules on doors. And yet I watched them live by their own codes, and I learned from them. Don't be intimidated by people who have a better education or more money. Kindness is more valuable than any fortune. Regardless of what you do, be proud of working hard to take care of your family. Read widely. My pa left us in 1995 after a struggle with Alzheimer's. But all three of my other grandparents have died in the past 13 months. I know how fortunate I was to have them for so long. And yet the knowledge that they had long, happy lives did not make the goodbyes any less sad. This year has been one of the most profound of my life, full of both glorious love and terrible loss. In the midst of grief, life has continued. My husband, Henry Hager, and I have two little daughters, Poppy and Mila, now four and six. They are our greatest joy, but also our greatest challenge. The same week I got a promotion at work, I found out I was pregnant with our third child, Hal. He was born in August, bringing more happiness and more chaos to a household already bursting with both. I only wish his great-grandparents had lived to meet him. As long as I'm alive, my grandparents will not be forgotten. I'll tell their stories to my children so that their spirits live on in our family. And they will be by my side as I walk through life. I hear their voices in the letters they sent me and in my memories. They offer comfort, support, and guidance. And I will listen to them always. I think people long for the Gampies of the world. <laughs>